everyone. Welcome to our tutorial videos on FreshBooks Cloud Accounting. Today's video we're going to show you how to create recurring invoices within FreshBooks. If you have clients whom you bill on a regular basis, recurring profiles are the best way to create and send invoices. So let's go ahead and click on the Invoices tab. And then we want to click on the sub tab Recurring. On the far right hand side we want to click on the green New Recurring Profile button. Creating a recurring profile is just like creating a single invoice with a few extra features. So we're going to go ahead and click on the start date. And I always like my invoices to go out on the first of each month. So from the calendar I'm just going to select the first. So some of the extra features now you'll notice are how often and how many. So frequency, how often you want the invoices to be sent out. And there are many different options ranging from weekly to yearly. So I'm just going to click on the down triangle to the right. And from the list, I'm going to go ahead and select three months. How many invoices you want to send out in total for this recurring profile? If you're unsure at this time, you can actually just leave the word infinite in the field. The nice thing about this is you can come back at any time and edit the recurring profile. I'm going to go ahead and enter three. The reason for that is because I'm going with three months. We want to select our client. On the left hand side we have an area that says send by. Make sure that you have email checked off. On the right hand side we have two fields, PO number and discount. These are optional. So if you do have a PO number or you're going to give your client a discount, you would enter it in these fields. Scrolling down we have an area called auto bill. So what we've done is we've gone ahead and created a separate video so please take a look at the video called Auto Billing within FreshBooks. Now we just need to complete our invoice. Make sure to enter any applicable taxes. You'll notice now it will say Recurring Total. Scrolling down you'll see an area called Prorate First Invoice Full. If you just hover your mouse on there FreshBooks gives you a nice explanation of how to use this feature and you'll notice, notice it will say use prorating if you do not want to charge the full amount for the first invoice. I'm going to come down to terms and I'm going to go ahead and enter my terms. And I'd also like to put in a nice message to my client. required fields have been entered so we can go ahead now and just click on the save button. We get a nice message back from FreshBooks saying recurring profile saved. So we're going to go back up now to the sub tab called recurring so we're going to click on that and notice how it brings you to an area called recurring profiles and it will give you a list. So now we have our client Blues Fashion House under the column frequency it tells us we've set it up for three months. It gives us the amount and also gives us the number of invoices that we're going to send out. Now before I end this video I would just like to give you a nice little tip on creating recurring invoices for clients that already exist. So all you need to do is we're just going to go back to the top and click on the people tab and if I hover my mouse on any particular client You'll notice I get a shortcut menu, invoice estimate, and there we have a shortcut for recurring. So all I'm going to do is just come down and click on recurring, and there we go. I can now set up recurring invoices for this particular client. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please contact us if you'd like to know more about our FreshBooks training, and also take a look at all our other videos we have posted and also make sure you look at the video called Auto Billing within FreshBooks.